Welcome back. In this video, we will see how to insert a stop loss order in the Digiro platform. From the home of our account, we need to click on portfolio. We select the stock on which we want to insert the stop loss order. Here we see the exposure that we have on this specific product. To insert a stop loss, we need to click on sell and this will open the order page. For the order duration, we have two possibilities, day order or GTC order. If we select the order, we will set the order to expire at the end of the trading day. With the GTC, the order will last 90 days if not deleted by us or by the stock exchange. We select GTC order, we then select stop loss and we set the stop price. Remember that the stop loss order is an uncertain type of order. Therefore, we have no guarantee regarding the price at which we will be executed. The price of execution will be from the stop loss to below. For this reason, we could have bad execution when dealing with an illiquid product. Pay attention to the volumes of the product you want to trade. The volumes on the Giro are not reliable. It's better to check on a third party provider. Other thing to remember is that not all the stock exchanges support the stop loss order. If the stop loss order is not allowed for that exchange or product, you will not find it in the order tab. In this case, we can use the stop limit order to achieve a similar result. Let's now go back to our order. Once we set a stop price lower than the market price, we need to input the quantity and the platform will return the amount of money required for this transaction. We then click on insert order. We click here to confirm the order and the order will be left pending. You will see the order in the tab where the pending orders are. This order will be pending for 90 days unless cancelled or executed. Please comment, like and subscribe. See you at the next one.